Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, Only In Your Mind. I had a request for me to do the makeup of Carl from The Walking Dead. I'll put the person who requested that makeup somewhere around here. And also, if you guys want to check out my other makeup of Walking Dead characters, I'll put the link in the description below. And you guys keep watching to see how I did this makeup. Start of Carl's makeup, I need to conceal the dark circles and the spots around my face. So I use Graftobian's Rose Blush anywhere I had discoloration that I wanted to correct. Now for Carl's skin tone, I had to go several shades lighter than my skin tone and I use Graftobian's Cream Foundation in Bronze, Warm Peach and Ferrous Tone and those are very creamy so I started off using my fingers so they can kind of melt into my skin and then ended up using a sponge to complete the actual foundation. And I took that foundation all the way down my neck. And of course I look really pale but it will turn out to look really good in the end. And now that the base for his skin color is completed, I'm going to do some shading and some contouring of his face. And I'm using BH Cosmetics Foundation and Concealer and it comes in a 10 color palette. And I'm using the darkest color in that palette for the um, contouring. But you can also use, if you wanted to, some dark brown eyeshadow as well and I will be using that too later on. As always I used a reference photo to do this makeup and any of my other makeups that I do. And I used this photo and several other photos of Carl to see where I needed to contour and because he has a thinner nose than mine I contoured my nose and I also looked for the areas that needed to have shadows. And I placed those shadows under my eyes, between my eyes, the sides of my lips and my chin as well. So along with shadows we need highlights and I use the lightest color in that BH Cosmetics palette which is basically almost a white color and I went at the side of each shadow that I did and I placed a highlight. And right now I'm just switching back and forth from highlighting and shadowing and of course I'm looking at that image to try to get the best colors that I see from uh, my photo to my face. I popped in one blue contact in my left eye and my right eye will be where the eye patch will be. From Carl's photos, he has freckles and I took Wolf's 017, made some dots and blotched it out with my fingers. For the eye patch, I used gauze and I cut it in half and folded it in fours and I probably should have just cut it even further down because it really hurt my eyes, but I ended up pinning this to the back of my head to help secure it. And I guess I should say it hurt my eye because the other eye didn't have a patch on it. For his lips, I used those Graftobian colors and also I mentioned that um, warm peach. So I used that one, which was that kind of pinkish color. So here I'm improvising because the wig that I had didn't have bangs so I pulled out my bangs and used it and of course this uh, wig isn't Carl like here but it will have to do. 
to help with the look, I put on a collared shirt and a brown hat. So after getting on the props, I had to go in with one eye or sometimes even no eyes to do some more detail work. So I mentioned earlier that I was going to use brown eyeshadow for the contouring and shadowing and I used that brown eyeshadow to um, build up the intensity of where those contour areas and shading would be a tad bit darker. And if you find that you added a little bit too much of the brown eyeshadow, you can kind of tap it out and blend it a little bit and it'll look more natural. And I needed to contour the sides of my face so I used that brown eyeshadow to do that because he's got a thinner face than my face. And for the lines on his lip, I use black eyeliner and tap that out and the look is complete. Thank you so much for watching my video on my channel, Only In Your Mind. And if you like this makeup of Carl from The Walking Dead, please give me a like if you like it, subscribe, and don't forget to share my videos. And if you have a chance, please check out my other Walking Dead characters. And I'll put that in the link below. Until next time, guys.